late nights, early mornings. The grind never stops. It's time to level up. What's up guys, your boy Jay Dizzle back in the hizzle. Hope you guys are doing well. So today is June 27th, 2021. It is going on about eight o'clock in the morning. Uh, gotta get this cardio in uh, today. Just doing a quick weigh in for you guys. Um, just brought you a leg workout today. It's legs again. Um, so I'm not gonna obviously record it. It's the same workout. Uh, so go check out that video. Um, so just here at the gym, uh, gonna get this hour of cardio in, do my way in, and then I'll get the rest of my day going on. Really not too eventful, I just wanna bring you the way in and my progress fix and where I'm at. Had a really good week this week, man, so I'm hoping for a really good result on the scale. I know that's only one measure of progress, but I am a scale junkie, so, you know, <laughs> I wanna see that number go down because when I know as that number is going down, I know that I'm getting leaner, I'm getting more shredded, things like that. So uh, my goal is to be better than I was last year at last year's show. So I know I got to either match 159 pounds or better. So, you know, I'm, I'm shooting for I'm shooting for 147. That was always my goal last year. But, you know, it is what it is. So um, right now feeling really good. I had just I just had a good week. Got all my workouts in, got all my meals in, was able to get better quality sleep, things like that. That's that's detrimental to your, you know, your gains, guys, or, um, you know, if you're not getting quality sleep, not just getting more sleep, but getting better quality sleep, you know, actually getting into that deep sleep zone. I learned that during my sleep study, so um, I still suffer from sleep apnea. It's very mild now, uh, according to my last sleep study, sleep study that I had done a few weeks ago. Um, so, but I'm just feeling really good, man. So I'm ready to get this started and uh, ready to bring you guys, you know, the best that I can that I can bring you, man. So hope you guys find some inspiration. If you are, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. I'll show you. Uh, I'll show you how far I get today on this treadmill, man. I'm feeling really good. Knees feeling good. So I uh, just got my pre-workout in me, and uh, I'm ready to go, baby. So let's go. It's time to level up, baby. Alright guys, so just gonna wrap it up just doing the cool down now and uh, feeling really good man. You see the sweat. I don't be playing around on this treadmill. It's been raining all week and it's been super hot and so I wasn't able to get out on the bike trails like I normally want uh, or like I've been wanting to. And uh, you know it's all good but you know, I just come in here and kill it the best way that I can. So but what I want to leave you guys with is this, man, is guys, it's not always going to be sunshine and rainbows. You already know that it's not going to be smooth sailing. It's not going to be pretty. Whatever journey that you want, fitness journey, debt free journey, starting a business, you're going to have your peaks and valleys, you're going to have your ups and downs, man. But when times get rough, man, you got to do what's required. So tell you a quick little story my daughter last year during the pandemic uh, after she got out of eighth grade um, she got a um, the, the high school cheer coaches posted on the high school website that you know they were starting tryouts so you know I was telling this girl you know this is the big leagues now you know there's gonna be girls you know trying out not only from your school but from from, from the high school as well, because you know the high school girls want to remake the squad or whatever. So you got to do what's required. So um, of course everything was virtual last year, so they wanted the girls to come up with a cheer and to and then email it. You know we had to we had to videotape it and email it to the cheer coaches. And so long story short, she didn't make the squad. Now I was telling this girl the entire time, like, look, you got to get up early 
stay up late, you know, practice this cheer, practice, practice, practice. Now she did the cheer and she did it well, but you know, other girls, they, they know how to tumble and backflip and do all of this stuff. My daughter doesn't know how to do all of it. So she didn't make the squat and she was very upset. You know, but it was her first brush with defeat in life. And it was a good lesson for her. Now, fast forward to this year, she made the junior varsity squad, okay? But once again, this girl is lazy, she's slacking off, and she don't wanna do what's required. So what I want you guys to understand is you gotta do what's required, man, to get where you wanna go, okay? Even for me, I gotta get all these training sessions in, all this cardio, all these meals, the supplements, the rest, it all, it all works together, guys, okay? So you can't be bullshitting for whatever journey that you're on. Get up early, stay up late, read whatever material you need to read, hang around the circles that you need to hang around in order to get you to level up, okay? So, so I want all of you guys to just take away from this is just to level up, do what you gotta do. You know, do what is required, okay? I'm in here 12.30 at night, 1.30 at night, two o'clock in the morning, whatever it takes, guys, because I wanna get on that stage and I wanna represent and I wanna present the best package that I can, you know, standing next to the big dogs. So that's it, guys. I will see you on the next one. I love you. There's nothing you can do about that. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Your boy, Jay Dizzle. I'm out. Peace. guys there it is week 26 up a few but that's okay